Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on knowing that angles in the same segment are equal. This is an example of a circle theorem. A circle theorem is just an angle law to do with circles. So the theorem is this. Firstly, let's remind ourselves what a segment actually is. Do you remember that a segment is the area on one side of a chord? So a chord is just a line that connects two points on the circumference of the circle. And then the segment is the area on one side of the chord between the chord and the circumference. But also the segment could be the other side, even if it's the larger area. This whole thing is a segment, just like this area is a segment. Now what it means to have an angle in the segment is that if you start from the two ends of your chord and you fire onto the circumference from those two ends to meet at a point, then that angle they meet at will always be the same wherever you fire to. So if I was to fire from these two ends of the chord to another point in that segment, then that angle where you fire to would still be the same. And notice it gives you this kind of like bow tie type shape. So if I draw this kind of shape here, the kind of bow tie type shape, the angles at the same end of the bow tie will be equal. And similarly, these angles at the bottom will be the same. So if the angles are both at the bottom or both at the top or they're both at the left or they're both at the right, they will be the same, yeah? So angles in same segment, angles in the same segment are equal. Now let's apply that to these examples here. We've got this bow tie type thing, so we can use angles in the same segment are equal. And remember, the angles have to be the same end of the bow tie. So the angles at the top of that bow tie will both be the same, so those will both be 70, and the angles at the bottom will both be the same. So that x must be equal to the 30. What about this one? Well, as I said, the angles at the same end have to be the same. And in this case, we've got the two angles at the left must be equal, so we can see the y is going to be 85 degrees and the two angles to the right will be the same. And note the angles have to be in different triangles. So we can't, for example, use these two angles and say, well, they're both at the top because they're in the same triangle. We've got an angle here and an angle in the different triangle, but both on the left, so those are equal. And then we've got an angle here and an angle also on the right, but in a different triangle, so they're both 20.